Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just want to say that I'm really sorry that I haven't done videos for the last three weeks because um, my cameraman, my dad, he was very busy with his work and I was also a little bit busy so that's why I didn't get time to do videos. So today I'm going to be reading for you Little People Big Dreams and as you know I will still be continuing the Little People Big Dreams series and our person for today is Anna Pav Pavola Pavol Pavlova. Written by Maria Isabel Shenchens Fegra, illustrated by Sue Dowling. One frosty morning in St. Russia, Petersburg, I mean in St. Petersburg, Russia, a little girl called Anna was born. She arrived two months early and was such a tiny baby that doctors feared for her life. But despite her decal, decay, delicate health, her spirit was strong. Anna lived in a tiny house on the outskirts of, of the city. Her father died when she was still small, and her mother worked from dawn to dusk to bring, to bring food on the table. Her presence and a present for her daughter every now and then. One day, her mother announced that they were going to Mar Marinsky Theatre to watch the ballet called The Sleeping Beauty. Gazing at the prima ballerina floating on her tippy toes, Anna knew that dancing was all she wanted to do. From that moment on, every, every thought she had was of ballet. She begged her mother to take her to lessons. Every two years late, and, and two years later, when Anna was 10, she was accepted in at the Imperial Ballet School, the best in the world at the time. Most teachers thought her feet were too bent, her ankles too thin, and her arms too long. Even her fellow students called her a little savage, but Anna kept practicing night and day. She knew that only hard work trans transformed talent into genius into genius her official adept was was the man was the man was the marniski theater the place where she had discovered ballet she wasn't as strong or as, as as strong or athletic as the other dancers but she moved like she moved with such delicacy, lightness and grace that that the audience couldn't take her eyes off her. When she danced The Dying Swan, it became her most acclaimed performance. The ballet lasted less than four minutes, but Anna danced with such emotion that it was enough time to touch everybody's hearts. Soon, she was announced the prima ballerina at the Imperial Ballet, one of Russia's treasures. She became the most prestigious jewel, a superstar, with legions of fans who called themselves Pavlovatiz, Pavlovatizzi. The following year, she left Russia and toured Europe. For the first time. After her performance in the Swedish city of Stockholm, crowds gathered at her hotel. To their delight, Anna threw flowers from her balcony. Anna joined the prestigious Ballet Rushes, which became the greatest sens 
sensation in Europe. Yet after they they the first season in Paris, she felt it was time to start her own company and bring ball and bring ballet to places where it had never been seen before. When, when the Pavol, Pav, Pavlova company, Anna became the first ballerina to tour the world. Wherever she performed, from New York to Egypt, people felt moved. After, and after war broke out in Europe, she helped Russian orphans find new homes. Back in England, where she lived, Anna mixed ballet with dances she had learned in Japan and India. She also opened her home studio to a new generation for dancers eager to learn from one of the greatest. And living a life devoted to ballet, little Anna, the world's most beloved ballerina, learned something incredible. True success doesn't lie in applause of others, but in a clump in accomplishment you feel every time you give it you give your best Anna Anna Pavlova born in 1881 and she passed away in 1931 and that's the end of the story I hope you enjoyed the story that I just read for you. And if you want to listen to more of my videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. Bye.